On December 29th in 1845, Texas joined the Union as the 28th state. The Lone Star State is second only to Alaska in landmass, as well as larger than any European country save Russia. The enormous size of the home of the Alamo gives plenty of hiding space for these five cryptids, who serve as a reminder that you don't mess with Texas. At number five is the Lake Worth Monster. Half man, half goat, the Lake Worth Monster is a fearsome beast that's been terrorizing Greer Island for over half of a century. Beginning in July of 1969, locals reported seeing the seven-foot-tall monstrous mutton man. Sightings were covered in local newspapers, even making the front page of one with the headline, Fishy Man Goat Terrifies Couples Parked at Lake Worth. One local man, by the name of John Reichart, claimed to have had his vehicle attacked by the creature after it leapt out from a nearby tree, and his automobile had a foot-and-a-half-long scar along its side to back up his seemingly unbelievable story. Another group of individuals reported the creature throwing multiple car tires at them from hundreds of feet away in a horrifying display of strength. The picture shown on screen was taken by a man named Alan Plaster one night, after he saw the bipedal Billy, and it was then published in local papers. Next up is the Beast of Bear Creek. The original natives of the American Southwest told stories of skinwalkers, wicked shamans that had gained the ability to shapeshift into various animals, most often some form of wolf. Although most commonly associated with the Four Corner States, being Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona, it would seem that Texas has their own sinister shapeshifter in the Beast of Bear Creek. According to the stories surrounding the entity, he sought revenge on those who had fought with his tribe and settled on his land, prompting him to begin roaming at night in the form of an oversized wolf, killing farmers' livestock and even any unfortunate wanderers who were out after dark. At number three is the Houston Gargoyle. One evening in 1986, NASA archivist Frank Shaw was heading home after a day of work at the Johnson Space Center in Houston when overhead flew something that was truly out of this world. Shaw claimed that he was walking to his car when he initially sighted the entity perched atop one of the Space Center's buildings. He described the figure as being jet black and humanoid-shaped, with a set of giant wings protruding from its back. Shaw claimed that the gargoyle seemed to be enjoying the fact that it was inspiring fear in him. Upon seeing the monster take flight, he sprinted to his car, and he didn't look back until he got home. For the next few days, Shaw decided against telling his co-workers out of fear of ridicule, but he eventually relented and informed his supervisor of the incident, only to learn that he wasn't the first employee there to see the creature, and that months before his experience, two German shepherds had turned up mutilated in the area where he was terrorized. Even stranger, Shaw claimed two out-of-state NASA security officials advised him against sharing his story, resulting in him waiting until 2004 to go public with his encounter. Next up are Black Panthers. While Black Panthers themselves aren't cryptid, the phenomenon of big cats living in areas where they aren't supposed to, usually in Europe and North America, and known as alien big cats, or ABCs for short, is very well documented. In the piney woods of East Texas, locals have seen heard, and had their pets and livestock dismembered and even hung up in trees by big cats that shouldn't exist in the area. As far back as the American Civil War, Confederate families would bar their doors and windows at night to ward off the nocturnal predators. Later on in the century, newspapers published articles about victims of attacks from the creatures. One published by the Galveston Weekly in 1874 told of a man bringing goods to Louisiana only to be devoured by a black panther. When passerbys left the scene to retrieve their firearms, the creature was still there upon their return, only to flee after they fired some shots at it. At number one is the chubacabra. Were you expecting anyone else? The grizzly goat sucker first broke onto the scene in 1995, and has been said to hunt after Lone Star livestock ever since. Eyewitnesses report that the chupacabra prefers to drain the blood of its victims as opposed to devouring them outright. Seemingly, there are two variations of the creature. One, a hairless, canid-type animal 
that seems to be a mismatch of currently identified canines, the other extraterrestrial and heavily reptilian in its appearance. Various parties have reported to be in possession of a body over the years, but in all cases they were determined to be either hoaxes or misidentifications.